Hey Collective, thank you guys for joining me today. Alrighty, so we're going to use the Wisdom Oracle cards, we're going to use uh, these beautiful Gilded Tarot cards, and then I want to crack out the runes again. So remember guys, I am still learning these, so I do have, I have a little cheat sheet off to the side in case I forget. And we are only going to draw one, just one. So let's see what we got. Interesting. Okay, so this ruin can represent, oh, hidden things that are coming to light sometimes. Sometimes. It can also speak of gains that are coming. So there might be some good gains that are coming in your life. Maybe you're making progress towards something. That hidden secrets, though, that kind of, I don't know, guys, that kind of, that was the first thing that popped into my mind. Hidden secrets that can come to light. Something coming to light. Something that you might be finding out. Something perhaps that you did find out. We do have never ending story. So it represents chapters of our life. Maybe something coming to an end and be giving, beginning a new one, but also grieving the ending of a chapter too. And milk and honey. Hmm. And milk and honey speaks of abundance. We can be moving into a new abundant chapter in our, in our life and it, it could have been because something came to an end. Something might have had to come to an end so that we could have this new beginning, so that we could have this gain, we could have this milk and honey, whatever this is. Blessed. Hmm? Whatever it is that came to an end, it might have been a blessing in disguise, guys. We might have a lot of blessings in our life and they're, I feel like there's more coming. I feel, because I feel like a very forward energy with this blessed card, like something that perhaps even hasn't happened yet. Something that's waiting in the future. And we have truth be told. So something coming to light, being able to find a secret that might have had to do with something coming to an end, discovering something that brought about an ending, some sort of a truth. Might have been an inner truth for you. This might have been with somebody you were dealing with or a situation that you were dealing with and having a truth come to light. You also have this flexible card. This flexible card speaks of going with the flow. So whatever this transitional time is for you, whatever this change is that's coming, being able to just tackle obstacles as they come not being married to one particular direction. If an obstacle comes up or you see a new path opening up, being open to just going down that path, recognizing that sort of everything happens for a reason. So if an opportunity pops up, a new route, uh, when the one that you're trying to go on isn't quite working, realizing that, okay, there's a reason I'm supposed to go over this way. The universe is trying to show me to, to sort of take this detour over here. I see gain though. And see some sort of gain with that that milk and honey card something coming something positive coming what is this what is this all about what happened and where are we going like recognition and reward with the six of wands we're overcoming obstacles overcoming challenges it's like this milk and honey and this blessed card these blessings that are coming it's like this is a reward for overcoming whatever obstacle this never-ending story this truth be told and the ruin is speaking to like some sort of hidden secret that had to be uncovered uncovering the truth but being able to uncover it being able to to deal with it and overcome whatever it is it's going to bring blessings and the two of cups so it might have involved a relationship uh possibly a romantic relationship it could have been a relationship at work though this could have been within your career too whatever this is uncovering this truth And two of pentacles, it brings balance. You know what? Pentacles does tend to speak to finance. I'm not saying that he's juggling money or that we're we're finding balance in money, but there there is blessings. Blessings is what I see in this two of pentacles. That's what I see the pen the pentacles as. I see them as the the blessings and the milk and honey, the abundance. And it's coming into balance. Something is going to come back into balance now that we were able to discover a truth. Now that we were able to maybe bring that truth forward and maybe air it out. And this might be what the Six of Wands is speaking to, bringing this truth to light, airing out some sort of a truth here. 
Now well, moving from stormier times to calmer ones, moving to better times. This is what I was feeling early in it in these trans or in these oracle cards. I was feeling this transition. This transition is a very positive one. It's bringing very positive changes about in your life. It's taking you to a time of abundance. It's taking you to a time of being blessed by the universe. I do have the Hierophant here. So this Hierophant, he can speak of a few different things. Uh, he can sometimes speak of a mentor, which might be tying into this, this relationship as well. Uh, he can speak of an institution. And this might be part of a lie coming to light or you bringing truth to something, shedding a light on a truth. And it might be part of a reward from an institution or tie into an institution as well. He also speaks to a higher learning. Page of Wands. Page of Wands is good news on the way. He can speak to uh, different things uh, depending on the read that he's in. But in this read, I have the distinct impression of him offering good news, of him bringing good news. He's bringing something, recognition and reward. He's bringing the positivity with him. He's bringing some sort of blessing, some sort of abundance, some sort of news that leads to the blessings and abundance. And the emperor, who is this emperor? This emperor feels like someone. This is not a representative emperor. This is an emperor who actually is representing a person's energy. See someone offering? See someone bringing an offering forward, bringing some sort of a, an offering. Is it money? Is it love? He's bringing something forward. He's a person. This emperor is a person, guys. And he's someone who's successful and admired in his own right. He's someone of very high standing. He is, he is positive. Whoever he is in this read, he is freaking positive. He's a good one. And the Ten of Wands. He's going to help to ease burdens, whatever this is. This, this good news coming forward from this emperor, it's going to help to ease burdens that you can see she is obviously feeling in this never-ending story. Like, she is feeling absolutely overwhelmed. She's probably feeling anxiety, sadness, depression, loss, grief. This is tying into all the emotions that come along with a truth coming to light, a hurtful truth, something coming forward. She did the right thing, though. It took a lot of bravery for her to open up and clear this truth out, admit this truth to herself, and then bring it to light. And the Four of Wands, building. Building for the future. Setting down a solid foundation. Building. Whatever this emperor is offering, it's helping to ease burdens. It's going to help with setting down a solid foundation for prosperity. He's bringing, in some way, shape, or form, he is bringing blessings. Even if he's bringing tools or opportunity that's going to attain abundance and blessings, he is still responsible for bringing it forward. The Five of Pentacles. And this might be part of the burdens. They might be financial burdens. But this is also tying into the loss. It's tying to this truth that had to get told in somebody, somebody feeling a loss. As the word that comes to mind when I look at that card, loss. We have the Queen of Cups too. This Queen of Cups, this is a positive card. And I feel like she is representative of, of the collective's energy in this read. Uh, but also emotions. Because Cups is representative of emotions. So it's speaking to the self-esteem. It's about speaking to healing. It's speaking to fulfillment. It's speaking to happiness. It's speaking to all those positive things that go with the milk and honey card, that go with the blessed card, that go with this, this positive moving forward transition that the six of swords is speaking to, moving on to something better. The hermit card. Time to think. Whatever this is, it's given this queen of cups time to think this transitional period that this never ending story is talking about this this time of recognizing a truth this time of bringing it forward uh and and i feel like there was sacrifice involved in whatever it was i have the distinct impression that she had to sacrifice something bringing this truth forward so this was not an easy decision for her bringing whatever this was to light facing whatever this was acknowledging whatever this was but at the end of the day it brings bigger benefits. This emperor, who is this emperor? I want to know a little bit more about this emperor and what he's bringing. That one wanted to come popping out. 
fool card. The fool card can represent taking a leap of faith. He can also represent uh, a new perspective, bringing in about a new perspective. The amount of abundance and the positivity and the blessings that he brings with him it will give her a new perspective. This is part of her transformation too and her healing process in moving into this next stage of her life in, in, in embracing whatever changes come, this being flexible, this being able to look at things in a positive light. Uh, we're hitting a roadblock, but here's an opening over here. This is where the universe wants me to go and having that faith to follow through on that. And this emperor is all a part of it. He is somebody who somehow mixed in in this, who's going to bring positivity her way. And he might be somebody who she's yet to meet. He might tie into this two of cups. This two of cups could have a duality. It might speak of something that came to an end, a relationship with somebody, somebody else who was involved in that. But he can also speak of somebody new and somebody positive, somebody who she can make some sort of an emotional connection with. And it doesn't necessarily have to be romance. This might be someone who brings some other sort of opportunity forward that allows for them to connect on some level, which might just be a friendship, but it's, it's emotionally rewarding for both of them. He might turn out to be a mentor for her in moving forward, in building her abundance and her blessings as well, guys. I'm going to pull a couple more cards. I just feel like I need to pull a couple more cards here. So what else? What else do you have to say, Tarot? Because you're telling me there's a couple more cards that need to come out. Healing. Four of Swords represents healing. Healing from learning the truths. This is part of her journey, this healing. And the Nine of Cups is about wish fulfillment. This wish fulfillment. Her wishes are going to be fulfilled. This is part of the blessed. As part of the milk and honey, this abundance, this good times. That this Emperor is going to play a big part in. And it will be an emotional victory because she's going to be healing. She's going to be building this abundance. She's going to be building this, this new future in which she's going to find her own confidence. Uh, she's going to find this love of life and love of herself again. And possibly for some of you, it might even be love with somebody else, depending on your situation. And the five of wands, the five of wands can represent conflict. And this is part of her healing. This is part of uh, healing from conflict with somebody else. This is feeling conflicted about bringing whatever this was to light. Because it did bring about some sort of loss. It did bring about some sort of uh, something that she had to grieve. It did bring some hurt on some level that she's having to process. And you can see it in the never ending story card. But whatever it is. It was meant to happen. It was a very critical part of her journey that is taking her to a much better place. It's taking her to, to this emperor, whoever he is, who's going to make a very huge and positive change in her life. It's going to take her to feeling blessed, to many blessings, to abundance with this milk and honey, to wish fulfillment and to empowerment. She is coming into her own in this new chapter in her life, she is finding her strength. She is taking her power back. She is finding that, that love of herself being comfortable in her own skin. This is a beautiful new chapter for her. I feel so much positivity. I feel so many blessings, so much light, and so much empowerment in this read. So whoever this read is for, you have so much to look forward to in this new beautiful chapter in your life. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have an absolutely great rest of your day. Take care.